First, I have this really cute sketchbook from Kelly Ramsey Art. So we're going to draw right here. We're going to go to Want to Draw. And we are going to draw a melty snowman as a Lego character. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm Tracy Don Brewer. I'm from Canton, Ohio, and I have a business called Brutifly. And I am starting a new podcast, really basically uh, chatting with friends and uh, new acquaintances and people who have big dreams, little dreams, creative dreams, business dreams, just wanting to have a platform to talk about them, share them, get ideas, share ideas, and doodle along the way. So I always have a habit of drawing while I talk, and I wanted to capture that. And uh, when I have a guest on, they can doodle along with me. And uh, even though the podcast is audio, I will share that artwork with uh, everyone on my YouTube channel. I thought that would be a fun way to see what comes out of your mind as you're chatting along with someone. So episodes will be released on Fridays and it will be a weekly podcast. And if you're interested in joining me as a guest, just let me know. I would love to talk to you about what your uh, subject would be and what you'd want to focus on and really what those dreams are. So join me and uh, listen along and I'm excited to share. So I will talk to you soon. Bye. So I'm really excited about this podcast. I'm really excited to talk to people as creatives and just real humans, re being really open and honest about what it takes to do something that you love. How do you do that? How do you pursue a dream? What obstacles did you face? What would you change, if anything, if you had to do it all over again? Would you change anything if you had to do it all over again? How long did it take for you to get into the groove of doing something and realizing this is going to work? This isn't going to work. We have the lovely word pivot. <laughs> How many times did you pivot your dreams? This is hard to draw a Lego snowman, especially melting. Because I think that you think of Lego as a square. They have some curved, rounded ones. But it's just funny to try to think outside the box and not look at anything. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. These are kind of like ice cubes, aren't they? <laughs> You just show like he's melting, huh? I think he needs a little mouth. I take notes and doodle all the time. So that's something that I do. It helps me remember what I've talked about too. I don't know why. It's not like I'm drawing pictures of the notes, like visuals of the words. Sometimes I do, but usually I'm just scratching along the paper and drawing something. And it's just kind of funny to add this to a podcast because you're listening and you're usually multitasking. I know I am. 
people walk and listen to podcasts. Some people work like me because I work from home. Legos coming off. Melting. It's falling, it's falling. So funny. Oh, he needs one of those little scarves. You know, his Lego scarves that are do like a whole little scene behind him. Or it's those Lego trees. And they have the branches that stick. I have a couple Lego scenes like that, which are funny. So oh, his scarf is floating away. <laughs> but this is just why it's fun to just, you get a prompt and you start talking to someone and I'm really looking forward to having people on as well as just sharing some of the struggles, some of the successes, some of the people that I know that are super creative and I think are so inspirational and learning what drives them to continue to pursue anything that they're doing. Some people who have just businesses that I think took a creative bit of insight to even get them started. So Maybe they don't think of themselves as artistically creative, but I do because I think that it's important to try to come up with a solution to make things work. And that's even in business. So people sometimes just like don't realize how creative that they are. And I just want to kind of bring that out. Other times it'll just be me sharing some of my journey. And after going to my first art beast convention and realizing some of the things that I just take for granted knowing other people didn't know. It seemed like it was worthwhile. I was like, oh, I didn't know I should share that. I assumed everybody knew that. Or I share this all the time on social media. What do you mean you haven't seen it? <laughs> Why would I think that? Why would I feel like everybody is like, yep, I saw her post that. I know that she does this or I know you could do that. I, I don't know. It was eye opening. So that's mainly why all of this. So share your doodle, hashtag brutally made. So I can share that you doodle along with me with this episode. Pre launch episode. 2023. I am putting this out in the world because this, because this is a value. It is worth my time and I want to share and highlight others. And I also want to have fun doing it. And I want to celebrate other people and it's just a fun way to connect. So here's my little melting snowman as a Lego sketch.
for this pre-launch episode so you get an idea of what we'll be doing and um, we will continue to use this app because it's a lot of fun to pick the next um, the next one so I will see you